Another reason for people in Queens to expect some commuting headaches. The MTA is planning to redesign some bus routes. CBS 2's Valerie Castro has the details. New York City Transit Authority President Andy Byford got an earful as he faced an overflowing room of angry Queens residents, worried their bus service is about to drastically change. Outside, the line to get in stretched around the block. This is just a drug. Nothing is set in stone. Nothing is decided. My suggestion is this. Leave all the buses the way they are. Just put more buses on the line. The MTA is in the midst of a bus network redesign across the entire city that the agency says will improve service and reflect the needs of riders. What we're finding is because of congestion, because of um, you know, the Uber, whatever, there's been a precipitous decline in bus service. But looking at the proposed draft, residents don't see how that's possible when it seems certain bus routes will disappear, like the Q49. Look at the map. It's not there anymore. Thank you very much, MTA. You're nuts. The concern is buses that connect to the Roosevelt Avenue Jackson Heights Transit Station will be greatly reduced, but they are the only way to reach the Queen's subway lines. So now we're going to take two buses to the train and two trains? Like, this is horrible. It's insane what they want to do. I understand we need more buses, not less buses, and we need to be able to have access. That's why people buy around here, because you have access. The MTA expects to release its final plan later this year, and these riders hope it's not the one they're looking at now. If the turnout at this meeting is any indication of how fired up this community is, you can bet the next several meetings will be packed. In Jackson Heights, Queens, Valerie Castro, CBS 2 News.